is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. <laughs> hygienic streamer tips took me $5, so for those who don't know, Hygienic streamer tips on the earlier stream said something disgusting about my wife trying to make a, a, a crude joke. That, like, like, everyone knew what he was saying, even though he said, oh, I didn't mean it that way. Yes, he did. He outright meant it like that. He was basically trying to say something about my wife. And he got banned from the stream. So then he did two tips. One of them basically saying, oh, I think you banned me by accident. And the other one's like, oh, I don't like how you treat your viewers. You're an idiot. You insulted my wife, you dumbass. People aren't stupid. But they know exactly what you were saying. Just because you tried to say it in an underhanded way doesn't mean that it's not a sneak diss. We all know what you were fucking saying. Oh, yeah, I can tell you right now, the, the hard means horse. So it's probably some kind of an insult about my wife or something stupid, I'm sure. So now he took me another $5, acting like absolutely nothing happened earlier today, and he goes, Hey Phil, I hope you got the plumbing so drama sorted. Have a good day. Alright? Gee, thanks, Hygienic Streamer Tips. I appreciate your tip. I'm going to put this on the leaderboard only because it's the first tip of the night. But maybe, just maybe, if you wise up and you don't say stupid shit on my stream about my wife, you won't be banned. I'm just saying, like, maybe if you use your fucking brain, because you've been around the streams for about a month now, joking around about various things. Sometimes you make jokes about Jasper crabbing in the hallway, which is incredibly immature and stupid, but I put up with it. But when you're, the first moment you put my wife's name into your fucking mouth is the moment that you get permanently banned from my streams for being a fucking piece of shit. So, maybe you should think about what you did. Maybe you like to apologize at some point for doing that. And when you actually man up and admit it that you did it, and you're sorry for it, maybe I'll let you back into my streams. But since you seem to act like you didn't do anything wrong, even though you know you did, Oh, uh, you ain't coming back anytime soon, okay? Uh, wow. Congratulations, you're pathetic. Dark Side Kenny Sherry said, The guy who was talking about Zombie Apocalypse earlier was referencing a WWE detractor meme. It's the new event for the mobile game. Oh, who who's referencing a Zombie Apocalypse? Wait a minute, are you talking about earlier today someone said that people were turning to zombies all around the world? Is that what, are you saying that's what it was supposed to be? What was it? I think that was Robert Evans, right? I mean, he, didn't see, he certainly didn't, if that was a reference to anything with that stupid meme... That's a that's a, sh a shockingly like obscure reference because I I didn't get that from it at all. So maybe it was a tongue in cheek reference. Maybe there's a restreamer talking about it or something. But I didn't get that from it at all. I don't know. Uh, Mandingo loves Phil Cheer. He said pretty obvious your ear infection is being caused by bed bugs. That is absolutely disgusting. Uh, okay. Uh, Lies for Soul Cheer said, "Will Leisure Suit Larry be eligible for Halloween Marathon? Probably not, considering they're ancient games. No one's gonna want to see it." No one's definitely gonna gonna uh, vote for it, even if you nominate it. And, uh, the fuck is that? And it has sexual content in it. <gasps> oh my god! I'm wondering if Leisure Suit Larry... I never played a Leisure Suit Larry game, but I don't understand there is, like, like simulated sex in it. So probably that wouldn't even be allowed on Twitch. I don't know, though, because I never played it myself. Who just said it would be way too risky? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know I don't know what's in the game, so I wouldn't even be able to, to tell you. And plus, I mean, let's be honest. The joke is dead. Yeah, who the fuck's gonna want to see me play that? Besides, ooh, Phil's married, and so he'll play a game with sexual Fancy. content. And that's, oh, it's so funny to see Phil, who doesn't talk about sex anymore on his streams, play a game with sexual content. And fucking too much are idiots. I have zero interest in playing it. Can I be very honest with everybody here for a minute? I'm 37 years old, I'm married man. I'm a married man. I have no reason to have waifus. I have no reason to do romance missions in video games. I have nice romance in my real life. I almost feel bad for him. All right, so now we know Vincenzo is a troll because someone let me in earlier tonight and let me know that anyone who's talking about a zombie apocalypse and then referencing wrestlers, that apparently this is some new event in the mobile game that I don't play, but these idiots have a running meme. So now I know to ban Vincenzo because he's a fucking idiot and he wasn't here earlier when the person told me about that live on this very stream. What a fucking dunce. He owned himself. It's always good when I don't have to do any work. When these idiots own themselves... That's the best. Because I didn't have to do anything. Place gets more dangerous <laughs> I literally didn't have to do anything. Now, by the way, I'm only on stream for roughly about another 20 minutes, guys. So if you want to support, please do. Like I said, sadly this week has not been a good week for me with the amount of chargebacks that I got. I would appreciate if you guys contribute. I mean, you don't have to. 
And I'm not looking for anyone to go out of their own means here, but I would appreciate it if people were like waiting to contribute or whatever. If you could, I would appreciate that because of the shitty week it's been. So that's fifteen dollars in tips. That gets us up to thirty-eight dollars in tips tonight. Thank you guys. Uh, hygienic streamer tips just sent me four dollars. Said if I was to buy you a new pillow, would you unban me and send me your old one? No and no. How about that? <laughs> no and no. Okay. Toxic again. Toxic again. All right, here we are. <laughs> well, this is not centered. It doesn't matter, though. Uh, the Halloween decor for 2020. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of stuff behind me. Um, a lot of stuff, okay? Very different because I have more room this year than ever before. Uh, but previously, I was on a love seat. And when you're on a love seat, you don't got a lot of room, right? Only a few things you can put maybe up on the shoulders of the love seat. And that's about it, all right? This year, we've got a lot of stuff behind me, all right? So going through it, we've got the return of some... Familiar friends up here. We got Potion, the, the Halloween cat. Okay. We got Bone Meal, the skeleton, who's actually, he's waving. And he's ready to give a high five when something awesome happens in a game. Okay. We've got the Nameless Ghost over here. You may not recognize this guy, but he may look familiar. It's actually hard to see now that I'm actually looking at it. All right. So this is a Flameless Skull Candle. And you may say, but wait a minute, that looks familiar, but that's not exactly what we were expecting. You're right. Last year, I had a flameless skull candle that was black. <clears throat> and if you remember, my parents had gifted it to me uh, and said, here, here's some Halloween decorations. Maybe you could use it on your streams or whatever. So I didn't. You guys really liked having that skull in the background all last year. But if you remember, it was on my love seat and we had all kinds of problems with the skull topping over on the love seat and everything. Um, constantly. Remember, sometimes I would play and it would roll onto me and stuff, which was pretty funny. Um, so... I told my parents all last year about that. And they were like, wow, you really like that skull candle, huh? So they bought me another one. This time they bought me a white skull candle. So I said, what the hell? I'll put the white one on stream this year. So there it is. <clears throat> now that when I'm looking now, I'm, I'm realizing. Oh no. He's one of those little fucking spoiled rich brats who gets everything from his parents. They call me the man child. You can't really see the flames in the eyes. It just kind of glows. <laughs> it just kind of glows. Um... And I don't think there's much I can do about that. I gotta put down Bone Meal's uh, foot here. There's not much I can really do about that. I didn't know that it would look like that on camera but when I turned it on. Um, but anyway, yeah, I know. It looks, it looks like a giant egg. Yeah, because the way it, it lights up, I guess the camera catches the light in a certain way. And it can't discern the flames from the skull. But anyway, there it is. And then we've got a snake on top of the skull. And it's funny, the snake is rubber, but it's full of sand. It's kind of weird when you just crush it. Jasper loves this snake. Jasper, like, fights it and bites it and bats it around. He plays with the snake. <laughs> then behind all of that, the pink, or the uh, purple spider from last year is on the back wall, okay? Over here, we've got a Halloween tree, okay? A Halloween tree with a giant woolly spider on top who I call Wooly. That's Wooly the spider on top of the, the Halloween tree to the left, okay? So, this is cool. Because this is so different. You know, previously I just was limited with the space that I had. And now I actually have way more space behind me to put stuff up. So, the only bummer about this. I can't spin with all these decorations behind me in my chair. Alright, I could turn. But, boom. See? I can't spin. No! You fucked up! Oh, no! So, we're not doing chair spinning this month. Alright, already I shouldn't be doing chair spinning anyway because of my ear infection. So we have to think of something else. If we happen to get to get lucky and I, I double a tip skull one day, we have to think about what else you guys would want as like the, the double tip skull reward. But I can't spin because there's no room. Behind me I've got so much stuff, so many decorations, <laughs> the chair will not spin. I can still rotate so I can still play the game. I can still turn to you guys, see? I can still do how I need to do, but I can't turn any further. Alright? So we'll think about it, okay? And oh no, I tip myself. If you, oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that right down there. The new tips animation for a tip between 5 to 10 bucks. The spooky Halloween animation. And there'll also be one for cheering. That's that's all cheers will be a, a spooky animation. And then if you do a baseline subscription, uh, there's a Halloween themed animation for that too. Okay. That's awesome stuff. I can't wait. I'm having so much fun now. Really seriously, and I cannot wait for more. This is cool because I'm getting that positive that positive vibe that I had for most of 2017. I'm getting it back now. But now I'm getting that groove back, getting that vibe back. I'm ready for fun stuff. I hope you guys are ready too. Elon Musk is the first cheer of the day. With a 50-bit cheer, <clears throat> okay? And he asks something really silly. He says, for every $100 raised on a stream, will I gift five subs to the viewers? Well, first of all, <laughs> first of all, if I did that, that would mean I only made, 
you know, $75. Okay? Number two, as I've explained, when I raise, you know, funds on a stream like Kips, it's not guaranteed that I even keep them all, because a lot of them are getting charged back on a regular basis now. All right? I would think people would be more appreciative of me being able to afford all the new games coming up, cover the new consoles, continuously put out the streams that I do, and maybe long term, which I'm really seriously looking to do now, improve the quality of the streams, right? Um, <clears throat> whether it's through getting a green screen, whether it's through getting a better camera, uh, next year, the possibility of maybe getting a new laptop or a new computer, you know, long term things. These things are all long term possibilities to improve the streams. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I had a really bad tickle in my throat out of nowhere. Woo! Anyway, I would think that people would be more would, be, would want more like that than me committing to every day gifting subs to the viewers. Plus, let's be honest here, we have subscriber goals, right? We have subscriber goals for this channel. How can those be accurate if I'm giving away subs every day? <laughs> right? They wouldn't be accurate at all. So, no, we're not doing that. Maybe other streamers do that. That's their gimmick to try to get you to contribute. My gimmick to get you to contribute is to entertain you and to have fun with you and interact with you. And hopefully you like the stream enough to contribute. I don't have to do a gimmick where I'm going to give it back, give it back, this and that. We're not doing that nonsense. Okay, Xbox One is garbage, shit me in dollars to get the FBI or police involved. It literally is a federal crime and they will listen to you and come down on this scumbag. Yeah, right. <clears throat> don't think you're in this alone, buddy. Keep your head up. The, the problem is... With our world right now, we have so many real-life problems going on that law enforcement are not going to give two shits about some guy who daily comes by here and gives me fake tips, you know? There's so much stuff in reality that's going on that's way more important that even though this guy is committing a crime every day, unless he commits a significantly huge crime, like let's say, for example, this guy was doing $1,000 tips, you know, twice, three times a day, committing that level of fraud. Then maybe the FBI would be interested because adding up, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year probably would be, you know, okay, let's get this motherfucker. But he's doing a few dollars here, a few dollars there. And to me, it adds up because I'm someone who's just an independent content creator who relies on your crowdfunding to make ends meet. For me, it hurts. For some credit card or financial institution or for one person who had their credit card number stolen and got $20 of fake charges on their credit card, this is nothing, you see? So that's the problem. No law enforcement is going to come after this guy. <clears throat> okay. Sadly, you know, what happened was a lot of people got turned off to me over the years from the stupid shit that I would say and do without actually taking the time to do any research to figure out what I was saying was true or anything like that. My wall is ready now that 100 bit cheers saying that I, he feels like I don't care about my viewers because every day I turn around and insult them. Really? That's true. All I do all day is I sit here taking pot shots at my viewers. Absolutely. It's not that... Some viewers say absolutely ridiculous, insulting things, insinuate insulting things, or otherwise try to derail my stream with stuff that people know I'm not going to talk about because that's not the kind of content creator I am. It's all on me just randomly selecting people from stream chat and saying, Hey, uh, I am Razor. You're a huge douchebag. Waka, waka, waka. Yes, I do this constantly. And I am Razor, by the way, I'm kidding. I just pulled a random name out of the stream chat. So, thank you very much. My wallet is ready for being stupid. Xbox... <laughs> Xbox One is garbage, tip me a dollar. Here comes an insult, here comes an insult. Okay, ban those people. Here comes an insult, here comes an insult. Like, what the fuck? Insult the viewer. Conway Bloodbank did 100 bit cheer. He says, do you think you go a day without insulting people? Maybe just ignore them. Uh, no. No, insulting people is part of my regular regimen. Actually, in reality, it's people insulting me or sneak dissing me. Are they outright, you know, calling me names? No. Are they very much trying to insult me? Of course they are. And I have the right to defend myself and or retaliate. If you have a problem with that, tough shit. I have incredibly thick skin. My feelings aren't ready. Did a $5 tip and said constantly whining. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, it makes no sense at all, but thanks for the tip. All right, here we go. My wallet is ready. Did a 100 bit cheer and says, why don't I start an OnlyFans account and charge people to watch me put clothes on and dance for them? Okay, thanks for the suggestion. RBG fan cheered. He said about insulting viewers one time. You did call me a fucking idiot for asking if you listened to a song one time, but it's okay because I know you're going through a lot with these chargebacks. Plus, friends insult each other sometimes, and we are personal friends. RBG fan, you're you're a really weird person. That's all I have to say. You're a very oddball person. Very disturbing, actually. So some people are saying um, some weird stuff played during the break. What happened was I clicked on play next song in the playlist, and YouTube, in all of its wisdom, said play random stream of someone playing uh, Among Us. 
प्लेस मार देना मेरे को क्या ही करूँगा मैं अरे मेरा किल कुल डाउन में हो ही नहीं रहा ठीक फिर से पता है वही बने फिर से जारी फॉर मई बनाऊँ हाँ वो मैं देख लिया मैं वो वही देखना चाहता था बैंड You've got to be fucking kidding me What's up everyone we're going to try out Mega Man 10 What the hell is this music I don't know why I did that cuz I was in my playlist of music but you know YouTube is a piece of donkey shit and does whatever it wants because it's programmed so poorly by a bunch of fucking nitwits So it played a random Among Us stream and I guess the guy was listening to some random music or something I have no idea <clears throat> I didn't hear it because I, you know every the audio is muted in my office so it just played something random I don't even know what it was um so I noticed it. I said, well, I'm pretty sure people aren't going to want to hear whatever the hell this is. So I, I switched back over to my playlist, and I had to restart it to put it back on, re uh, like, repeat all and random, because it had unselected all the options for no reason, because YouTube sucks. You don't bite the hand that feeds you, I guess is what you say, but at the same time, when someone bites me, I'm going to bite back. I said, guess what? I think it's finally time that DSP bites back a little bit. Ow! Why'd you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you just go to bite mommy? Wow. Alright, so you see what pigs can do. Philip indoctrinated children who send him money, blatantly milking for money. It's a money pig. It's gone, just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>